Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope everyone is doing great. To introduce myself, I am one of you aiming to build quality content in statistics. I believe together we can help each other grow. Let's quickly start the questions. We are given T1 and T2 as two unbiased estimators of gamma theta having the same variance. And we have to show that the correlation coefficient P theta has to be greater than 2 E theta minus 1 where E theta is the efficiency. Also, if T1 is minimum variance unbiased estimator and T2 is any other unbiased estimator with efficiency E, then variance of T1 minus T2 equals to variance of T1 times 1 upon E1 minus 1. Let's start with the solution. Let's take T as a minimum variance unbiased estimator of gamma theta. And we have T1 and T2 as unbiased estimates of gamma theta so that variance of T1 equals to variance of T2 and the efficiency E of such an estimate is given by efficiency equals to variance of T upon variance of T1 equals to variance of T upon variance of T2 since variance of T1 and variance of T2 are equal. Now, suppose we consider any other unbiased estimate of gamma theta Suppose T3 equals to 1 upon 3 T1 plus T2. Now, variance of T3 equals to 1 upon 4 times variance of T1 plus variance of T2 plus 2 times of covariance of T1 T2, which can be written as 1 upon 4 times variance of T upon E plus variance of T upon E plus 2 into rho under root of variance of T square upon E square. Upon simplification, we get the following. Since variance of T is minimum variance and biased estimator, we understand that variance of T3 has to be greater than or equal to variance of T. So, 1 upon rho variance of T upon 2E is greater than or equal to variance of T. So, 1 plus rho is greater than or equal to 2E. Hence, rho is greater than or equal to 2e minus 1. Also, if t1 is minimum variance unbiased for theta, t2 is any other unbiased estimate of theta with efficiency e theta. We have to find variance of t1 minus t2. Let's take e theta as variance of t1 upon variance of t2, which implies that variance of t2 equals to variance of t1 upon e. Hence, variance of t1 minus t2 equals Upon simplification, we get variance of t1 minus t2 equals to variance of t plus variance of t1 by e minus 2 rho under root of variance of t1 into variance of t1 upon e which is equal to variance of t1 into 1 plus 1 upon e minus 2 rho upon e. We already know that correlation coefficient between two estimators is equal to under root of e using that we obtain Variance of T1 minus T2 equals to variance of T1 times 1 upon E minus 1. So easy. Talking about B part, if T1 is a minimum variance unbiased estimator for theta and T2 is any other unbiased estimator of theta with efficiency E theta, 
then the correlation coefficient between t1 and t2 is under root of e theta so i am not aiming to solve those questions which are already given as examples you can find this example and probably you have done it a lot of times in fundamental of mathematical statistics sc gupta bk kapoor Let's move on to a very interesting question. Question number 17.23. We are given two independent unbiased estimates of mu. Also, the information that we have is variance of x equals to 12 and variance of y equals to 4. We have another estimate t equals to ax plus by and we have to find for what values of a and b should this estimate be unbiased. Now, simple formula: expected value of t has to be equal to mu. So, expected value of a x plus b y has to be equal to mu, which implies that, upon simplification, a plus b equals to one. Also, we have to find which value of a and b will minimize the variance of this given estimator, which is the linear combination of a and b. So, I'll simply find the variance of t. Which is equal to a square into variance of x plus b square into variance of y, which is equal to a square into 12 plus b square into 4. Now, we already know that a plus b equals to 1. Putting b equals to 1 minus a in variance of t, we get a square into 12 plus 1 minus a whole square into 4. Differentiating variance of t with respect to a gives the value of a. So a equals to one by four, which implies that b equals to three by four. Let's move on to the next question. We already know the definition of an efficient estimator. Any estimator which has the minimum variance in the class of all unbiased estimators or biased estimators is known as the most efficient estimator. Now we are given that t1 and t2 are both efficient estimators with variance v and t is another linear function of t1 and t2 we have to show that variance of t is equal to v by 2 into 1 plus rho where rho is the coefficient of correlation between t1 and t2 written down all the information available to us now variance of t equals to 1 upon 2 square variance of t1 plus t2 upon simplification it gives me variance of t equals to 1 upon 2 square 2 times of v plus 2 times of covariance between t1 and t2 which is equal to 1 upon 2 times v plus covariance between t1 and t2 which is equal to 1 upon 2 v plus rho times of under root of variance of t1 into variance of t2 we are already given that variance of t1 equals to variance of t2 equals to v hence variance of t becomes v by 2 into 1 plus rho I'll do the next part in the next videos. Also, solving B if T and T dash are two consistent estimator of which T is the most efficient, prove that the correlation coefficient between them is under root of variance of T upon variance of T dash, where variance of T and variance of T dash are the variance of T and T dash respectively. Now this is already done as an example in the book. I would suggest you to go through it. Tada! And we move towards sufficiency. Now we have to use the factorization theorem on sufficiency. Please remember that factorization theorem is necessary and sufficient for a sufficient statistic. Also, 
for a complete definition of sufficiency including examples from log normal distribution logistic distribution cauchy distribution please refer to my lecture which is based on sufficiency you will get the entire gist of what sufficiency is how does that work why do we need it Now we have the function as fx p equals to p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x. This is simply Bernoulli distribution. We find the likelihood function which is the product of n samples taken. Upon taking the likelihood function, we obtain that we can write it as p to the power summation xi into 1 minus p to the power n minus summation xi. Due to Neyman factorization theorem, we obtain hx equals to 1 and g theta tx equals to p to the power summation xi into 1 minus p to the power n minus summation xi, which is a function of theta and x only through the value of tx. We have already done 17.25 a lot of times, where x belongs to uniform 0, comma theta and we have to find a sufficient estimator for theta. So, without any further ado, I will move on to the next question. fx theta equals to theta to the power x into 1 minus theta to the power x, where x takes value 0 and 1. We have to show that summation of xi is sufficient statistic for theta. Now, let's consider the likelihood function first. Here, we will take multiplication of n samples taken to obtain likelihood function. L equals to theta to the power summation xi into 1 minus theta to the power summation xi into 1. hx equals to 1 and g tx comma theta equals to theta to the power summation xi into 1 minus theta to the power summation xi. We see that summation xi is sufficient for theta. Let's move on to another example. We are given fx equals to theta into x to the power theta minus 1 and we have to show that multiplication of x size i goes from 1 to n is sufficient for theta. Like always, let's start with likelihood function. Likelihood function can be written as theta to the power n into product of x size i goes from 1 to n to the power theta minus 1. Here, hx equals to 1 and g tx comma theta equals to theta to the power n product of x size to the power theta minus 1. Here, g tx comma theta depends on theta and x only through the sufficient statistic which is product of x size. And hx is independent of theta which implies that product of x size is sufficient for theta. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching guys.